All right, so we've mixed our mortar and we're ready to start installing some tiles. So we got to make sure we've got our tools ready to go. We've got our margin trowel. We've got our notch trowel. We've got some spacers here that we're going to use and we've got a sponge that could come in handy. Um, we've got a little bucket of water next to us here just for like cleaning things up, keeping things tidy. One of the things we want to focus on while we're installing the tile is not necessarily keeping the floor level or perfectly flat, but keeping each tile flat in relation to one another. So the best way to do that is to properly apply your mortar. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our margin trowel, we're going to scoop out some, some of our rapid setting inset here. The reason we recommend a rapid setting mortar is because it cures quickly and wicks the moisture away. And when we get into the sealer component, we'll show you why that's super important. But for now, what I'm doing is I'm just applying this mortar into all four quadrants here with my margin trowel. And I'm going to take my notch trowel and start spreading our thin set. So what you want to focus on is getting as close to our lines as you possibly can without covering them because what we don't want to do is lose our reference points here. But we're going to get as close as we can so our tile is as good a coverage as possible. And that's why we started with mortar on all four sides so we're not dragging it over the lines. And so we'll just start by getting our mortar spread out. Now what we really want to do here, in order to keep a consistent height from tile to tile, you want to start with a consistent notch. So now that we've got our thin set sort of loosely spread out in our quadrant, We'll focus on keeping our notches consistent. So to do that, we're going to make sure all our notches are running in the same direction and that our trowel is held at a consistent angle. So if we, if we decide that we're comfortable holding it around 45 degrees, we're going to just push that mortar in one direction at about a 45 degree angle. We're going to kind of try to do that in the same direction in every quadrant. So an even notch will allow us to get an even floor as an end result. So now that we've got our notches placed, um, we'll start by installing our tile. So we'll pick our tile up and as long as we start in the same place uh, that we did when we were dry setting, we should end up in the same place. So all of our cuts are going to work out. We know it because we're going to use our spacers. We're starting on our focal point here. So we've got our tile, our notches. We're going to take a little bit of extra mortar and do what's called back buttering. So we'll just scrape a little mud on the back and that just ensures a good bond with the tile. We've got our pom-pom focal point here. We're gonna line that up on our line and just give it a little wiggle and a little, a little press into the mortar. We don't wanna push too hard because it's those ridges that are gonna allow us to control the height of our tile. So we'll take our next tile Give it a little butter. Line up our pom pom. And what we want to do before we apply our spacer is, is feel it. So if I feel that this tile is perfectly consistent with this tile, we give it a little wiggle. We can apply our spacer. Everything feels good. It's all lined up. Pick up our next tile and keep going. A little butter. And as we continue to go, we're constantly going to be checking our tiles and how they relate to one another, making sure that the height from tile to tile is consistent. We don't want any what we refer to as lippage. So there is going to be a little give and take and that's why we have those notches in our mortar so that the notches can um, 
can break down and we can, we can adjust the height of the tile as it goes. So, so far it feels like we're off to a pretty good start. Everything's lined up, our spacers are in place and our floor is flat, so we're off to a good start. We'll just carry on and I'm just gonna finish up with our space here. So here's a pro tip. Your Tile Hero Kit comes with some sandpaper and not only is it good for sanding the edge of our cuts, but if you've got some stubborn smudges or in this case a pencil line on the floor that doesn't come off just using your clean sponge and clean water, you can actually take your sandpaper and remove the smudge or in this case pencil line by lightly sanding the surface of the tile until the pencil line in this case is removed. We'll take our clean sponge, give it a wipe, and it's gone.